Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy in, over here in Jacksonville, Florida, at Custom Made Barber School. And uh, today's video, I got a medium skin fade. Um, if you get a chance, go ahead. I want y'all to go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button. I want you guys to show me some love, okay? Take the time out to go ahead and show me some love real quick. Shout out to Bob Illuminati. Shout out to everybody that's supporting this channel. Shout out to all the people that's watching all over the world, okay? All right, now the first thing I'm doing is I'm balding out the bottom. Okay? I'm starting my original bald line at the bottom. And what I'm doing is just like a, a medium skin fade, okay? With a one and a half on top. One and a half on top is gonna be with the green, okay? And, um, Right now, I'm uh, like I said, just bobbing at the bottom. Um, this video is not gonna be so short, but it's gonna be pretty much. Well, I could. Th I think I'm gonna make it go ahead and make it short and sweet. All right. Now the next step, what I'm doing is, uh, I got my wall senior, it's a corded version of the wall senior, and I got my um, lever open up all the way, and I'm going up about a quarter inch. Okay. Like I said, this is a half haircut. This is not a full haircut, so I already cut the other side, and all I'm doing now is just showing you a quick tutorial on how to do this haircut, which is on the uh, client's left side of his head, okay? So now that I went up, now I go ahead and close the lever, and I'm fading right below, and I'm just trying to remove the uh, the bulb line that I created with the, uh, with the liners, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and go around, clean this up, erase that bottom line. So I had the lever open all the way, now it's closed all the way. So those of you that have been watching my videos, you know my maneuver. Next step, I would grab my one guard, okay? So this is the one guard open all the way and I'm fading up about an inch right here, okay? And I'm, like I said, I'm, this is gonna be a kind of quick video, so fade up about an inch and I'm gonna do that all over this side right here. And uh, if you've been paying attention to my videos, you know what my next step is. I want you guys to go ahead and guess to see what I do next. My next step is to close the lever all the way. And if you pay attention to the top right hand corner of the video, I always got in the description what, what I'm doing at the moment. So this right here actually tell you that, um, okay, I closed the lever all the way, okay? And when I close the lever, I actually fade right below the highest point that I used before, okay? All right, now. Now, when I fade, I go ahead and I'm not sure if you guys can see, I'm going over my work multiple times and I'm going at an angle just to make sure I get everything in a pretty uniform situation. Now, I got my half guard and I faded right in between, okay? So I got my lever open halfway on my half guard and I'm fading right between the one in the no guard so it goes from no guard to half guard to one guard i'm sorry on my half guard i'm actually fading right in between the the one guard and the no guard okay okay now i got my one and a half guard okay and with my one and a half guard i got the lever open up all the way and then i'm gonna close the lever all the way then I'm gonna just go right all around the crown area. So now with this haircut, I go ahead and do this process right here. I got the lever open, then I go ahead and flick it closed in a little while, and I'm gonna start doing some detail work. When I say detail, I mean when I open the lever, open and close, open and close, just to make sure I get a good transition in the fade. So after I do that, I'm gonna go back and grab my one guard with the lever open and closed all the way just so I can make sure everything is very uniform, okay? Because remember I told you this is a half haircut? And at this point, I'm trying to match up this side with the other side of the haircut, okay? 
And uh, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but sometimes I kind of skip scenes. So when I skip, uh, uh, when I, I guess, skip the video and, you know, go to the next portion of the video, I can kind of see what's on the other side by turning the client and looking in the mirror. Okay? I don't know if that's confusing y'all, but if it did confuse you, please disregard, okay, what I just said last, but, so, uh, from the one and a half, I'm opening and closing, the one and a half guard, and now here I am back to the one guard, okay, one guard opened all the way, and I'm just trying to make this side match up with the other side, so, and I'm sorry for my shoulder being in the way. I wish I could give you guys a better camera angle. I actually don't have a cameraman. And I feel that this is a good way to record because it's actually out of my way. And it's, to me, it makes sense. But uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get another camera and mount it somewhere a little bit closer. So I'll have a clear video for you guys sometime in the near future. But thanks for um, being patient with me and watching the video. Hopefully you guys get as much content as you can from these videos, even though sometimes I come in the frame and block. And uh, those of you that's still watching, man, I appreciate you guys for watching and locking in with me. Go ahead and go online and follow me on IG. That's custom underscore made underscore cuts. Also, um, those of you that haven't hit the like button yet, go ahead and hit the like button, man. Put me in the algorithm. Show me some love by subscribing and hit the bell too. Let me know you guys are watching. Comment below and uh, uh, I'll be able to give you guys a lot more videos. If you go in the description, I got all my information on my website. If you want to buy some new um, clippers or some cool clippers, go ahead and hit me up online at custommadebarberschool.com. And uh, I got some really good deal on some really, really good clippers. So if you guys need some clippers, trimmers or anything, shavers, Hit me up on custommadebarberschool.com and I'll hook you guys up. Also, I got some products on um, Amazon. Um, I'm going to put the links on uh, my description. Y'all can check me out on Amazon and, uh, you know, support the channel, man. Support me. Um, okay, so now at this point, I still, uh, well, what I got on is, I think I got my one guard on. Yeah, I still got my one guard. And I'm going with the grain around this crown area. And the last but not least, and, and I'm just doing some detail work. I'm trying to make sure that crown area fades in with the rest of the haircut. And the last step but not least, what I would do is I'm going to grab my one and a half guard. And then I'm going to go with the grain and take down the top of the haircut like I stated in the beginning of this video. But uh, yeah, I'm using the one in the one guard right now just to kind of make everything work. Transition from bottom to top. And this is what I like to call detail work for when I open and close the lever. If you pay attention to the video, you can look at my thumb and you'll see what I'm doing. Okay. Now here it is, one and a half guard again. It's the second time I used it. And all I'm doing is just making sure I'm laying down the hairs on top. When the client came in, he, that's what he told me. He said, I want a one and a half on top, medium, skin fade on the side. And I said, I know exactly what you want. I got you. I'll hook you up. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for supporting the channel. Like I said, YouTube is one of those things that is really time consuming. And it takes a lot to do these videos and edit. So if you guys get a chance, go ahead and hit like, subscribe, share, comment, and show some love, man. Let me know y'all watching. And, uh, you know, like I said, hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on my website, Facebook, um, you know, TikTok. And comment below, all right? Now, this is the hairline portion right here. I kind of fast forward a little bit. Um, you know, those of you that have been watching, y'all know how I do my hairline. I start in the middle. Work my way all the way to the left, and uh, then come back to the right, and I match my side bars up with the corner of the client's eyes. Make sure before you do your side bars, you always want to check to see if your client's face is is, is uh, balanced. If you know the eyes are all level, um, if it looks a little off, or one eye is higher than the other. Be very careful when doing the hairline and the sidebar. There's different tips on how to do that. But 
you gotta really pay attention. And uh, you still paying attention with, with a client with a normal face, but uh, you gotta pay extra attention to make sure you get the hairline straight. Always match up, and this is what I do. I always match up the corner side bars with the corner of the eye, okay? And um, yeah, if you guys have got any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and hit the like button. I mean, hit the, um, comment below, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Shout out to Barbara Illuminati. Shout out to One Plus One Barber out there in West Africa, Ghana. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.